This will be quite interesting. We have Bridal Time appearing again for the second time of the tournament. We might be seeing our third, second, third round. These players are both very similar in skill. I'd say Fuweather probably has a little more active experience, but it does get to the point where Fuweather could drop because of his accuracy. Both of these players have been playing for the rounds just over a year. Both of these players also got into DDR from the ITG camp at this same arcade. So these players have played for a very similar experience over time, and their upbringing of playing DDR has been very similar. Moeva seems to be a more all round player, but it does not matter. All that matters is their performance in this round. Going to the first round here again, we have final time appearing for the second time. However, having a very nice score, 933k. But also having a great full combo. DJ Lardy has a 772b plus. If their scores on these charts represent how they're gonna play in this tournament, however, might have this round in the bag. But either way, it's anyone's game. Final round of the losers brackets. Wait, no, second last round. Three, two, one, let's go. Both these players down scroll players. It's the battle of the down scroll players. And unfortunately, I'm not there, so we'll have to see how this goes. Both players holding onto a PSC. However, dropping that PSC, DJ Lani two EX ahead. I can't see the names of the EX scores because their names are all above. This is such a shame. DJ Lani still holding onto his PSC. DJ Lani pulling, just dropping his perfect for combo, but either way, still holding a 50. Lead over forever. Around 30 yen in favor of DJ Lon. Again, as I said, this could be anyone's game. People's scores does not mean anything to this needs to perform. And DJ Lonnie has had a great run so far. Forever's done very well as well, and it will come to the second half. It's only 25 now, Forever is freaking back. That's three, both played very well. DJ Lani only ahead by 25 PX now. However, it's slowly creeping back up. Dropping it back down. DJ Lani getting a few grades, but unfortunately for Goeva, he also got the same. So it's around a, ooh, over a, a 40 PX if we can play with DJ Lani. Coming close to the end of this one, both people with FCs. Goeva having a good FC, DJ Lani having a great FC. This is probably going to go to DJ Lani. Coming right at the end. Yep, DJ Lani takes it with a 40 60x difference. Both players are going to the next song, which I can't pronounce for shit. Ooh, interesting. Both players have played the chart before. Both players are about to go into this. However, needs to win this match or you will be eliminated from the tournament. DJ Lani having a great performance so far. Being an underdog is seriously coming back here. Up, oh god, another song with a weed background. Why am I not surprised at this point? Let's go, this is going to be a very interesting fight. The gallop at the start, not faced by either players, both holding PFCs. DJ Lani did pick up a great there, but it's around very similar to EX, because DJ Lani's MA is definitely improved here. DJ Lani already at 20 X difference. DJ 
Lonnie strengthens that he has a very good MA, while Lewis, because he did rush to 18, does have a very big disadvantage. He does not train his accuracy as much as DJ Lani has. Around a 35 to 40 AX in favor of DJ Lani. DJ Lani played phenomenally with a great little combo while Forever has a good look up in No difference in the AX chain. DJ Lani pushing it slightly to around 45. DJ Lani doing very well with these off offbeat notes. Noah is struggling a little bit, he is hitting a bit too fast. Pushing that EX limit to 75. 80 EX difference. DJ Lani's favor. Both players still holding the F6s. Noah is freaking back slightly. It is only to a 70 EX difference from 85. However, the group that she brings back, it's going to depend on the end. DJ Lani hitting those crossover triplets. Forever missing this might be the end of Forever for this woman. DJ Lani just missed a lot of notes. There is a chance for anyone. He has missed a lot of those crossovers, but it's possibly too late. DJ Lani still keeping this great MA, giving him a huge excellent, even with his passive amount of misses. Still holding a knight experience, and that is probably gonna be it. DJ Lani knocks Forever out of the tournament. Both players.